welcome to this arm fat workout. We are starting off with a warm up of volleys. You're going to keep your core tight and pretend to be volleying a ball from in between your thighs. Very good. Perfect. Next up, we have rotational slams. Your core is tight and you're pretending to slam things from side to side. This is a great warm up for your arms and your whole upper body. This workout is really good for arm fat. If you struggle with flab at the back of your arms, if you want your tank tops to look really nice on you, this is the workout for you. Keep going. There you go. Next up, we have shoulder circles. Your core is tight and you're making huge circles with your arms. Once you're comfortable, I want you to add in your legs and do a gentle march to burn some extra calories. Reverse directions and keep going. Perfect. You should be feeling a bit warm by now. Next up, we have shoulder gaiters. You're going to basically clap your elbows together, keeping your core tight. Once you have a good rhythm, add in your legs for a gentle march as well. Good job. Okay, the first exercise is a curl to overhead press. You're going to curl your arms up and then raise over your head. And once you get comfortable, you add in a march. If you have dumbbells, you can use them, but I will not be using any weights throughout this workout. Once you have a rhythm, you want to add in a march. Good. Really make sure you're thinking about your arm muscles as you do this. That really helps with that mind-muscle connection and helps you to see better results. Just a few more seconds. Good job. Next up, we have wall pushes. You're using just your right hand to push your weight off against the wall. Your feet are together and just a few feet away from the wall. If it gets too intense, you can use both hands. Good. Make sure your core is tight. Yeah, there you go. You're doing good. We're going to do the same thing with your left hand. You're going to lean your weight into the wall and then push off with your left hand. If it gets too intense, you can use both hands like I'm doing on the right. Let's go. You wanna make sure your feet are together and your feet are just a few inches away from the wall. I'm sorry, you want to make sure your feet are just a few feet away from the wall. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Okay, I want you to get on the floor on all fours, keep your core tight, and then pull your elbow up toward the ceiling. If you have weights, you can use them. If you don't, no problem. I will not be using weights. Very good. You're just pulling your elbow towards the ceiling, really thinking about your arm muscles and your back muscles. That's the good thing about this move. It not only works the back of your arms, it also works your back a little bit. Switch arms and do the same thing on the other side. Good. You're almost at the break. Just keep going. Next up, we have tricep dips. You already saw that one coming, right? Your core is tight, your booty just grazes the floor, and you pop back up, making sure that your arms are doing all the work. Hang in there. After this, you have just one more move and you get a full minute to rest. Just keep pushing. You, you can do this. You got this. Perfect. 
perfect. You made it. Last move, air cycles. You're going to keep your lower back on the floor, cycling through the air. Once you feel comfortable, I want you to raise your arms just about an inch or two off the ground. That's all you gotta do. Just keep your arms an inch or two off the ground, keeping your lower back on the mat and just cycling through the air. I know it's a lot all at once, but just give it a shot. The more you do this workout, the easier it gets. Keep going. Just a few more. Awesome. Take a minute to rest, drink some water, pat yourself on the back. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. It's free for you and it means so much to me. If you haven't done so already, also check the description box. There's always free stuff waiting for you. I'll see you after the break. Welcome back. We're starting from those curls to overhead presses again. Your core is tight. You're going to curl your arms and then raise them towards the ceiling. If you have weights, feel free to use them. I will not be using any weights. Once you get comfortable, add in those feet. Just a gentle march. There you go. Good job. Keep going. <laughs> Nicely done. Okay, we're doing those wall pushes again. Starting with your right hand, you're going to lean your weight into the wall and then push off with your right hand, keeping your core tight the whole time and your feet together. Remember, you should be about a foot or more away from the wall. Good. Just a few more, hang in there. You're doing good, you're doing good. Okay, next you're gonna switch to your other hand and do the same thing. Just lean into the wall and push off with your left hand. If it gets too intense, you can do the version on the right where you're using both hands. You're almost there. You're almost at the end of this workout. You're doing so good. Just keep going. This is going to be over before you know it. I promise. Perfect. Okay, we're doing the kneeling rows again. You're getting on all fours and you're just pulling your elbow towards the ceiling, keeping your core tight the whole time. If you have weights, feel free to use them. I will not be using any weights. I think I said this before already, but this is such a good move for your arms and back fat. Oh, perfect. Okay, get ready to switch arms. Go ahead, switch those arms now and do the same thing with your other arm. You have two more moves and we're done. Next up, we have tricep dips. You're going to touch your booty to the mat and just pop back up, keeping your core tight and making sure that your arms are doing all the work. Mm -hmm. 
this could be challenging, but I know you can do it. You got this. You have this in you. You can do this. Just keep going. Hang in there. Just a few more. You, you got it. You got it. Yes. Last move of the day. Lift and air cycles. Your lower back is firmly on the mat. You are cycling through the air. Once you have your rhythm, raise your hands about an inch or two off the floor. This is your last move of the day and it is awesome. It's burning fat. It's toning your arms. It's giving you life. <laughs> Just a few more seconds. You've made it this far. You are making it to the end. You can do this. Look, look at that. How awesome do you feel right now? I want you to just hug your knee to your chest. Let's get a quick cool down in. Whew, you did good. Go ahead and switch legs and hug that other knee to your chest as well. Once it feels good to you, I want you to gently sit up and stretch out your triceps. Your triceps have worked so hard today. You did good. You did good. Okay, go ahead and switch to the other arm. Shake it out and stretch that tricep as well. And when you're ready, I want you to just gently and slowly roll up. Just take your time to roll up. There is no rush. You already did the hard part. This is time to just congratulate yourself. Awesome work. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in my next workout video.